Hello there everybody, my name is Wolfie Owens, and today we are bringing you a special World of Warcraft video. Uh, I know I haven't put up a WoW video in quite a while. Uh, I've mostly been working on getting a special video together for this particular video, special things, which I've been getting together. Boom! 100 Savage Satchels of Cooperation. You heard it here, 100 bags of these. I have collected 100 bags on this character. You can collect 100 bags quite easily, it seems. Um, more or less if you have a healer or a tank. If you're a healer or a tank, or if you could do healing tank and DPS, you can probably collect these all in one day. The, to collect these hundreds of bags, it took me three to four days <laughs> to get these for this video. Uh, like, see right here? Oh, it's because, look at that. Look at that. There's one right there. I can queue for it right now. <laughs> There's one right there. But you can go to uh, Heroics, and they'll pop up. You'll see them. There's not one right there. You can also do them in Raids, which there's one right there, ironically. So I can queue up for that and get it right now if I wanted to. But I just wanted 100 for this video to make this special video for you guys. So we're going to open up these 100 satchels of, uh, sa Savage Satchels of Cooperation. And we're going to see what we can get from them. We'll see if farming these were worth it. Basically, we're going to just see if farming these satchels are worth it, pretty much. And let's see if my time was wasted or not <laughs> for farming these. Uh, it might, I might do another one in the future. Who knows? Uh, so, we're going to see if I can make quite a bit of gold and what upgrades we could get from these, because these can drop tokens that you could turn in for new characters or any character and increase your what your uh your uh gear to a higher level. So we'll see what we could get just all together. I have hundred and twelve gold as you can see. Uh so at the I mean six hundred and twelve gold as you can see and then we'll see how much we made at the end of this video. But as a reminder, I'm probably gonna say this at the end of the video at the end of the video too, I'm probably gonna say this. As a reminder you might want to do this as a tank or healer that can also DPS Q because you'll get way more opportunities to get these than I did. I did it on a rogue who could only DPS. <laughs> Which took me three to four days to get a hundred of them, plus I was busy in between all my days. But anyways, enough of that. Let's just go into this and let's see what we get. So let's start opening these. And now we're down to the final two. And the last one, and that is all 100 of the satchels opened. So, what I'm going to do is mail off the rest of these real quick. going to mail off all these to my other character. I'll get these all dealt with and separated uh, during my own time. But all these, all these pieces can be used on new characters that just hit 100 to get them like instantly geared. So these are going to be really helpful for leveling alt and stuff. So that's all going to be really nice and helpful. So now what we're going to do is get these all moved up. Sort these a little bit. Yeah, come on. Okay, we'll put those there. Put those down here and uh yeah, that's it. That's all 100 of the satchels opened. So, let's see here. Uh, a little OCD right here, moving those, make sure they all match. <laughs> okay, so that's all 100 satchels open. So, let's see. We had, I believe it was 612 gold, and now we have 56 
gold, 56k. So we made about like we made about 550k gold from that. So that was just from the bags, flat out. Like I haven't even sold the ruins. Uh, these right here, these empowered artifact fragments, you could use to increase your what your gear item level to get r a lot better gear, and that's really good for alts as well. So I'm gonna be probably using those on a new character that I level that I really a new character that I level that I really want. That's probably what I'm gonna use those on. And then these, the medallions of the legion, you can use to get rep. Sadly, I only got three. All these ruins, though, you can use. You can sell them on auction house and stuff. But we're not gonna go through that because I'm a bit lazy. <laughs> so that's what could be more work. Uh, so I feel like we should have sell those. Each one of these sell for 99 gold. So we'll just sell these real quick. Just sell them all out. All right, and that puts us at uh, five fifty uh, fifty seven four hundred fifty. 7,479 gold. So in reality, we made about 56k gold. Almost 57k. So that's that's not bad. Just like flat out, just opening the bags and selling them, we made that much gold. That's pretty good for 100 bags. That's not that bad. So 56k, 57k pretty much, is how much we made from... Just vendoring all that, just opening the bags, uh, not including the uh, the 100 gear that we sold that we mailed to my other characters for them to use in the future. So hey, that's pretty good. If I was to create all those pieces and probably just enchant them or sell them, I might go up to like uh, maybe 60k plus. So hey, I think that was pretty good for 100 bags. Uh, I will tell you though, for the future though, if you're gonna do this, if you want to do this, you really want to do it on a tank healer that can also DPS. If if anything, do it on like a paladin or a druid that can play all the roles all together. So if you guys want to do this, make sure you do it on a tank or druid that can play all the roles, and you might get maybe even more gold than I did. Who knows? Uh, but hey, this was pretty cool. I've enjoyed this. I enjoyed making an extra 56k to my bank. Uh, so hey, what do you know? I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty worth it. It took me four days on DPS to get all that, but I think it was pretty worth it. Anyways, that was opening a hundred Savage Satchels of Cooperation. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed opening them after all that hard work. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.